Yeah, when I say get over it, I, I think I, I think probably a more appropriate word would be you won't forget it. And uh, get over it. Yeah, you you got to move on and, and you get over it. And um, but you don't allow it to hijack your ability to move forward is basically the best way to put it. And that's certainly that's where I'm at now. And that's where we'll continue to be at uh, to say that you're not disappointed and you wanted to do more with what you can control. Yeah, that, but I feel that way after every single game, whether we win or lose. And, um, you know, the other night it didn't work out, but I think like anything else, if you use it for the right fuel and you make sure that every opportunity, whether you win or lose, is something that you can learn from and you can get better if you're able to look inwardly and say, okay, what can I do, whether it be decision making, being more decisive, handling the ebbs and flows of the games, uh, some of the things that you can do specific to schematics as a play caller, that's a great challenge and that's what you love and it's a never ending process of getting better. Um, by no means do I think that you have it all figured out, and, and that's what's the beauty of this game is that it's, there's a lot of people that are involved in it that are intrinsically motivated to get better, most importantly for your players and for the people that you work with, and that's why you do it is to see you know, you'd be a part of helping them get better, and that's the motivation, and, and yeah, I'll get over it, but you won't forget it.